think definitely it has been my, my best at Basel ever. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for coming in. I am honored to be able to present in your W Hotel. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have an amazing night. This is it, what? Lucini pouring from the sky, let's get rich, what? Being a celebrity of celebrities, you know, that they, they collect my work is an honor. I don't see myself as a celebrity. I see myself as a painter. That's what I do. I'm a guy that gets up in the morning, goes to the studio, and spends 10, 12, 14 hours with a brush in his hand and a bunch of paint, you know, trying to create beautiful things. That's it. I picked tigers because the wild tigers uh, were going to be extinct. There's only about 3,000 wild tigers left in the world. So I think the tiger is, is such a sign, an icon of strength and motivation. You know, my tigers are creating certain awareness. Well, we had about 3,000 people coming. You know, it's, for me, a show that big, and that is three times bigger than, than last year, and it's great because you get to see all your friends or your collectors that travel from all over the world. But, you know, I mean, at the end of the night, it, it gets intense. Right now, you know, traveling for me is a big influence. I don't live in the States, but I spend a lot of time in the States. So I try to bring American culture into a European kind of communication because that's what I am. Yeah, this was my first uh, installation of digital art. I found it very interesting exploring a, a new media for me. You have the responsibility, as an artist, you have the responsibility to use today's tools and technology. I try to look back into the work that French Impressionists did that was so innovative or pop culture and bring a contemporary. I mean, I try to imagine what would they be doing if they were here today. How did I get to Basel with Domingo Zapata? It's like, uh, like how things happen with Domingo. It's like, yes, yes, come, jump on board. We'll make it happen. It's, it's very stressful. He takes me to the edge. But at the end, I trust him, and it always happens. When I hear things like, oh, you know, uh, you are the next Andy Warhol, you're the king of Basel. My sponsors, Ublot and Ferrari, which I'm very thankful, and Hot Living, of course, always been very supportive. It was incredible, and, uh, you know, if they knew what I knew, they would understand that I still have so much work to do to, to be at that level but it's a huge responsibility that I hope one day I can accomplish. And I can just say thank you. 